one day 10 years ago a comment by a bossy manager made me cry and the context in which this happened is very interesting you see the organization i was working in was expanding but they were expanding without me they were opening a new branch and i was being left behind because of my stinking attitude and uh, the purpose for me being left behind was to successfully see that the closure of that business happens the closure of that branch happens and that i successfully walk myself into oblivion in my career and i walk into joblessness man it was a thoroughly disheartening moment in my life and so the organization had expanded and for reasons that were obvious to everyone I could not join the expansion because of my attitude which was wrong and so this manager came to see me one day in his busy schedule to see how I was doing to close the organization down by the way a caveat here the organization never closed in fact I turned it around and it started performing better than the new branch but that's a story for another day but the the point is this so the manager comes to me and he loads it over me he tells me this and tells me that and forces me to do this and and then he falls silent for a minute as if he's just become some solemn guru and then he says these words Lawrence you are a great person and you have so much potential inside of you to this date i do not remember what else he said because i teared up my eyes became cloudy and my throat was filled with a lump and i was filled with a serious cry today in the podcast i want to discuss something that is very close to my heart so you want to stay tuned Welcome to the Life Signatures podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. I still remember that day as if it was yesterday and I look back to that moment where I was totally an emotional wreck because you see my life was at stake at that moment I wasn't crying because I was helpless I wasn't crying so that I can get some pity from this boss in fact I I did not even plan to cry this thing just sneaked up on me and I look back and I discover that the reason as to why I cried is one this man spoke exactly what I knew was the point I knew that I had the potential I knew that I was filled with so much promise I knew that I had that going on for me I knew that given the chance and in a proper environment I would be able to flourish I would shine That is one of the reasons as to why I cried I was quote unquote a helpless guy as in you know you can but you have not been given the opportunity or you it's inside of you but it's not had the chance to come out and it's like you are helpless it's like you cannot do anything you really want to but you cannot and i looked around in my life and i'm thinking man this life there is basically no promise there is no future there is no hope and i was crying in despair i also cried because here i was with this great potential this great promise and i have absolutely nothing 
anything to show for it. I have zero accomplishment at that mo- moment in time to show for it. I cried because of all the potential that I thought I had. And I still know that I have lots of it even today as I'm sharing with you. And I haven't even shared a quarter of it. Expended a quarter of it. I knew that I was actively overseeing the closure of my job at that moment in time. So I felt this is this life is so paradoxically ironical. <laughs> English. I, I thought, man, here I am with potential, loaded with so much potential. And here I am tasked with the responsibility of walking myself into joblessness. That's why I cried. And so what if the very next day after I received that feedback from the manager, what if I dropped dead and I passed on? How do you think I would have faced my death? That's a very important question. Would I have faced my death with joy? Would I have faced my death with satisfaction? With a sense of accomplishment? With some kind of pride? Would I have been eager to meet my creator? To take an account and make an account of my life? Absolutely not. Those are questions that we ought to ask ourselves on a daily basis. Hardly could I say yes to any one of those questions at that moment in time. And even as I'm asking us today some of these questions, if I was to die today, would I be proud of the accomplishments I have in my life? Would I be proud of the things that I have done? The smiles are put on people's faces. Would I be satisfied? Would I be fulfilled? See, those questions will be answered to the degree that I have expended my God-given potential. And in the next several episodes, I want us to exhaustively discuss this subject of potential. See, the good news is that I had that realization that I was and using my potential. That came as a cry. That cry was actually a realization that yes, I am filled with potential and yes, I am better than this and yes, this life is unfair for me at this moment in time but I do still have potential and accomplished purpose and fulfilled dreams and expended talents and gifts. I had them. What if I was told that I had great potential and I never believed it. Chances are that I will never have realized it. I will never have cried about it. Or if I never realized in the first place that I had that potential. That will be the biggest bad news ever. And to you also as a human being today. If someone told you that you had potential. They believe in you and you don't believe it. That is the bad news. Because I do not believe that there is anyone here on the face of the earth who doesn't have potential if you died and these questions were asked of you my friend see that's when you'll start coming to terms with the fact that you have potential and we have a greatest leveler because you know we have people of all walks of life we have people from different races people from different tribes people from people with different skin colors people from different nations we have people who with, who are high born people who are low born we have people living in extreme poverty and then we have others living in absolute opulence extreme opulence we have people who are religious and those ones who are pagan we have people living in difficult restrictive conditions and we have those living in free societies affording them the greatest opportunities to thrive We have people born with disabilities and then we have those born without a defect. We have those born in dispensations of war and those born in dispensations of peace. We have those born in great technological advancement and those born where the greatest technology was fire. (laughs) See, all of us, there is just one thing every one person in every human race in every human generation present past future we have one thing in common apart from the red blood cells that flow inside of our veins potential 
let's agree on one thing there is no human being born of a woman of any dispensation who lacked potential for anything none if you showed me such a one that would be the day that i'll become an atheist believing that there is no creator but the point is that we all have potential i do have potential you do have potential and the problem is that it can be very easy to dull our senses and go through life not looking at what our potential is at any moment in time but the greatest accomplishment we can have as humans is to go full blast and exploit our potential to the very dregs of the details and maybe you might be asking why am i talking about this why am i talking about potential there's absolutely no way someone will talk about a life of purpose which this podcast is primarily for without talking about potential purpose stems from potential purpose has potential as a seed purpose has potential as its roots that's why i have to talk about potential and i believe there is no one exempt from that p word of potential and purpose there is no one who doesn't have potential regardless of their existence regardless of their status regardless of whatever odds that they are facing there is no one on the face of the earth who lacks potential so i have decided to share with us this topic of potential primarily for two major reasons number one for me it is a heart issue it comes from there i can't stop talking about this i can't help myself but talk about potential and i can't help myself because this is the equalizer there is i don't believe there is a human being regardless of the status that we have regardless of the titles that we've given ourselves regardless of the kind of life that we've chosen to live i don't think there is anyone there is any human being who doesn't have potential it is a heart issue i cannot stop talking about it i have not been able to set this subject out of my heart you see this thing being a heart issue i have always say that as long as it matters to you as long as something matters to you there is a reason as to why it matters to the world it might be the weirdest of weird but as long as it matters to you i believe it can matter to the world and that's why as long as it matters to me this subject of potential i do believe it being a hard issue i do believe that it serves the world and it matters to the world also and that's why i cannot help but talk about the subject of potential that is the first reason the second reason as to why i do want to talk about potential i can easily say that there is little information about this if you searched on the internet on the subject of potential you will find it difficult to obtain concrete steps that can help you and help anybody anywhere to number 1 know what that potential is number 2 believe that they do have the potential and then number 3 explore that potential number 4 deploy that potential and number 5 to make the world a better place with their potential those are the things that i am after you knowing that you have potential knowing what it is number 2 believing that you do have potential for a reason and for a purpose and number 3 exploring it if you have an inkling of inspiration in you if you have an inkling of artistry in you if you have an inkling of writing in you explore it why so that you can deploy it why so that you can make the world a better place you are filled with potential i am filled with potential ultimately so that this world can become a better place and so i want us to start exploring this subject even in greater detail starting with tomorrow's episode i hope you're going to stay tuned bye bye for now a special shout out to my mentor jeffrey howard of visionary business university 
found at mastermindmentor.com who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.